We all search the internet, probably daily. I'm going to give you six tips to help you find what you're looking for faster. Now, these methods can be used in multiple search engines, but I'll be doing it using Google. And you can do it on any device, either a desktop, your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. All you do is change how you search in the search bar. If you want to make sure you're using Google for your search engine, if you're on an iPhone or iPad, go to the Settings app, scroll all the way down to Safari, and then under Search Engine, you can see what search engine you're using when you type into that address bar from Safari. Once you go into Safari, open a new tab and search in this box, it will actually be using those search engines. Now these tips I'm going to share, again, they work on desktop, your iPhone, your iPad. You can do this right in that address bar on your device, or you can do it directly on Google.com if you'd like. Tip number one, you can actually specify the exact website you want to search when you're looking for a term or some keywords. For instance, maybe I just want to search my personal website for anything that says iPad. I'm going to type the word site, colon, and then no space, and type in the domain for my website. When I search Google, you'll now see only search results from my website, beard.fm. You can do this with any website and with any search terms. Maybe you're searching for information on the iPad mini, but only from the website, appleinsider.com. Just put the term site, colon, and then the web URL after your search term, hit enter, and it will only show you results from that specific website. This can also be helpful if you're looking for contact information on a website, but they make it difficult to find, like maybe a bank or a healthcare provider. You can search for something like phone, site, and then a bank or any other website, like wellsfargo.com, and it will show you all the web pages that say the word phone, and then it's easy to find that phone number right from Google. Tip number two, you can search for an exact phrase by using quotation marks in the search bar. Maybe you're trying to find the exact poem that line is from some say the world will end in fire. Google will show you results with just that exact phrase in the quotation marks. And you can see here, even in the preview results, you'll see that exact term has to be stated. What's really cool is you can combine both the quotation search and the site search to find exactly what you're looking for on a specific website. For instance, I was looking for information about the Apple Music Classical app that's supposed to be coming out soon. And Joe Rosignol actually tweeted at me something from an Apple press release, an exact quote. So I can take that text, copy it, and then go to my Google search. And now I'm going to place that quote in quotation marks, and I'm even going to add site colon apple.com. And it will only pull up search results with that exact quote from apple.com. And you can see here, the first result is a newsroom article, which is the press release. And if I go there, this is exactly what I was looking for, Apple's announcement of acquiring Prime Phonic. So you can use the quotation marks to search for an exact phrase in your search engine, or you can use site, colon, and then a URL to search from a specific website and even combine them together. One more tip in search, and this is a fun word to say. You can actually use Boolean search terms in Google or your search engine of choice, like and or or. Let's say I'm looking for information on both HomeKit or Alexa, and I want to search the site appleinsider.com. If I put the word or in that search query, it'll show me all the web pages from appleinsider.com that mention either HomeKit or Alexa. I can change that or to an and, and now it will only show me pages that have both of those search terms present. The HomeKit and Alexa keywords both have to be in the article. Tip number four, you can actually exclude words in your search to make sure you find exactly what you're looking for. Let's say you're looking for Mustang, but horses, not the car. If you search for just Mustang, you're gonna get a lot of car stuff. But I can actually just do a minus and then car, and it will exclude cars from the search results. And now all of a sudden I get very different search results. I have horses, I have things like Mustang guitars, and all you have to do is do the minus symbol and a word, and it will exclude that term from your internet search. Tip number five, Google can actually find you file types from a website. This is how you would write your search. In between these asterisk symbols, you'd write something like a search term. Maybe I wanna search for the most recent W4 form. I could put W4 between the asterisk symbols, and then file type colon PDF. And when I search for that, I can click that first search result, and now I have the most current W4 from the IRS website without ever having to browse their actual website. This is also a great way to find manuals that will be online for anything from appliances to cars or other objects around your home. Let's say I'm looking for my car's manual, which is a Kia Soul 2011. I know, I drive an old car. I'll put Kia Soul 2011 between the asterisks file type PDF, and hit search. And you'll see I have several options here, but whatever they are, they will be PDF files, not websites. 
And here's my warranty and consumer information manual right here from Kia. And tip number six, you can actually filter your Google search results to just the last 24 hours, the last week, month, or between a set period. Let's say you're looking for news on the iPhone. Well, if you search just for iPhone, you're gonna get a lot of general pages, especially from apple.com. None of those might be super recent. But when you're on Google, I can click tools here under the search bar. And instead of any time, I can put the past hour, the past 24 hours, or even up to a custom date range. If I choose past 24 hours, now I'll actually get news articles based on the iPhone that have only been posted in the last day. But I'm gonna give you one more bonus tip. This is not related to search, but as you're browsing the web and you're going to pages, if you're looking for a specific term, let's say you think you found the page, but you don't wanna to have to read the entire article, you just wanna to jump to the exact word you're looking for. On a Mac, you can hit Command F, or on a Windows PC, you can hit Control F, and it will actually search the web page you're on for the exact words you type. If I hit Command F here on this page, I can search for something like spatial audio, and it will show me all the times that word appears here in the article. I can go back and forth and see all the places that it's mentioned, and whatever my search term was, it will be highlighted here in the article. You can even do this on your iPhone or iPad. If you're searching for a term, actually tap in the address bar, type in the term you're looking for, and then you'll see at the bottom of the results, on this page. If you type the search term in the on this page section, it'll again highlight exactly where on this web page that search term appears. And you can use the arrows up and down to navigate all the instances of that search term. Hopefully those tips help you find what you're looking for a little faster. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment below if you have any questions about using your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, or anything tech related. And don't forget to check out the shorts for this channel. Lots of iPhone and iPad tips there posted almost daily. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.